Robert John Wagner, Jr. is an American actor of stage, screen, and television, best known for starring in the television shows It Takes a Thief, Switch, and Heart to Heart. He also had a recurring role as Teddy Leopold on the TV sitcom Two and a Half Men and has a recurring role as Anthony D. Notesoessa on the police procedural NCIS. In movies, Wagner is known for his role as number two in the Austin Powers trilogy of films, as well as for A Kiss Before Dying, The Pink Panther, Harper, The Towering Inferno and many more. Wagner's autobiography, Pieces of My Heart, A Life, written with author Scott E. Mann, was published on September 23, 2008. Early Life and Career Wagner was born in Detroit, Michigan. He is the son of Hazel Alva, a telephone operator, and Robert John Wagner, Sr., a traveling salesman who worked for the Ford Motor Company. His paternal grandparents were born in Germany. Wagner has a sister, Mary. He graduated from Santa Monica High School in 1949. After an unsuccessful screen test directed by Fred Zinnemann for his film Teresa Wagner was represented by Albert de Broccoli as his agent. He made his film debut in The Happy Years. He was signed by agent Henry Wilson and put under contract with 20th Century Fox, where he gained attention with his small but showy part as a shell-shocked soldier and with a song in my heart. This led to star roles in a series of films including Beneath the Twelve Mile Reef and Prince Valiant, and White Feather. A Kiss Before Dying and Between Heaven and Hell. Wagner appeared with veteran actor Clifton Webb in Stars and Stripes Forever and Titanic. Following his Fox contract Wagner moved to Europe. In 1960 Wagner signed with Columbia Pictures for three films, but only two were made. Sail a Crooked Ship with Ernie Kovacs and The War Lover opposite Steve McQueen that was filmed in England. Roles soon followed in continental Europe such as The Condemned of Altona, the Longest Day and The Pink Panther starring David Niven and Peter Sellers for Blake Edwards. Edwards wanted Wagner for the lead in The Great Race but Jack Warner overruled him. Career Rise, Wagner signed with Universal Studios in 1966 starring in the films How I Spent My Summer Vacation a made-for-TV movie released in the United Kingdom as Deadly Roulette and Banning. In 1967, Lou Wasserman convinced Wagner to make his television series debut in It Takes a Thief. While the success of The Pink Panther and Harper began Wagner's comeback, the successful two and a half seasons of his first TV series completed it. In the series, he acted with Fred Astaire, who played his father. Wagner was a longtime friend of Astaire's, having gone to school with Astaire's eldest son, Peter. Wagner was suggested to play James Bond after On Her Majesty's Secret Service was released. In 1972, he produced and cast himself opposite Bette Davis in the television movie Madame Sin, which was released in foreign markets as a feature film and was a regular in the BBC Universal World War II prisoner of war drama Colditz for much of its run. He reunited with McQueen, along with Paul Newman and Faye Dunaway in the disaster film The Towering Inferno released in the same year. By the mid-1970s, Wagner's television career was at its peak with the television series Switch opposite Eddie Albert, after re-signing a contract with Universal Studios in 1974. Before Switch, Albert was a childhood hero of Wagner's, after he watched the movie Brother Rat along with a few others. The friendship started in the early 1960s where he also co-starred in a couple of Albert's movies. After the series' end, the two remained friends until Albert's death on May 26, 2005. Wagner spoke at his funeral, and gave a testimonial about his long-time friendship with him. In partial payment for starring together in the air on Spelling and Leonard Goldberg production of the TV movie The Affair, Wagner and Natalie Wood were given a share in three TV series that the producers were developing for ABC. Only one reached the screen, the very successful TV series Charlie's Angels, for which Wagner and Wood had a 50% share, though Wagner was to spend many years in court arguing with Spelling and Goldberg over what was defined as profit. Wagner and Wood acted with Laurence Olivier in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Wood also made a small cameo appearance in the pilot episode of Wagner's own television series, Heart to Heart. His third successful series was Heart to Heart which co-starred Stephanie Powers and ran from 1979 to 1984. Before those roles, 
Wagner also made guest appearances in the pilot episode of The Streets of San Francisco. He would later be nominated for an Emmy Award for Best TV Actor for his performance in It Takes a Thief and for four Golden Globe Awards for his role as Jonathan Hart in Heart to Heart. Return to film and television, Wagner's film career received a revival after his role in the Austin Powers series of spy spoofs starring Mike Myers. Wagner played Dr. Evil's henchman number two in all three films, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me and Austin Powers in Gold Member. He also became the host of Fox Movie Channel's Hour of Stars, featuring original television episodes of the 20th Century Fox Hour, a series which Wagner had appeared on in his early days with the studio. In 2005, Wagner became the television spokesman for the Senior Lending Network, a reverse mortgage lender and in 2010 he began serving as a spokesman for the Guardian First Funding Group, also a reverse mortgage lender. As of June 2011, Guardian First Funding was acquired by Urban Financial Group, who continued to use Mr. Wagner as their spokesperson. In 2007, Wagner had a role in the BBC AMC series Hustle. In season 4's premiere, Wagner played a crooked Texan being taken for half a million dollars. As Wagner is considered a suave icon of American caper television, including It Takes a Thief and Heart to Heart, Robert Glenister commented that to have one of the icons of that period involved is a great bonus for all of us. Wagner also played the pivotal role of President James Garfield in the comedy horror film Nether Beast Incorporated. The role was written with Wagner in mind. He had a recurring role of a rich suitor to the main character's mother on the sitcom Two and a Half Men. His most recent appearances on the show were in May 2008. Wagner's radio and television career was recognized by the Pacific Pioneer Broadcasters on January 30, 2009 when they presented him with their Art Gilmore Career Achievement Award. Wagner has guest starred as Tony's father, Anthony D. Notes OSR, in five episodes of NCIS, Flesh and Blood, Broken Arrow, Sins of the Father, You Better Watch Out, and Dress to Kill. He was set to star as Charlie in the 2011 reboot of Charlie's Angels, but due to scheduling conflicts, had to exit the project. Personal Life In his memoirs, Wagner revealed he has had affairs with Yvonne De Carlo, Joan Crawford, Elizabeth Taylor, Anita Ickberg, Shirley Ann Field and Joan Collins. He had a four-year romantic relationship with Barbara Stanek after they acted together in the movie Titanic. Because of the age difference a euro he was 22, she was 45 a euro they kept the affair secret in order to avoid damage to their careers. On December 28, 1957, Wagner married 19-year-old actress Natalie Wood. They separated in June 1961 and divorced on April 27, 1962. While working on location in Europe, Wagner reconnected with an old friend, actress Marion Marshall. In the spring of 1963, after a brief courtship, Wagner, Marshall, and her two children from her marriage to Stanley Donnan moved back to America. Wagner and Marshall married on July 22, 1963, in the Bronx courthouse. Soon after, they had a daughter, Katie Wagner. They divorced on April 26, 1971 after eight years of marriage. In 1971, Wagner was engaged to Tina Sinatra. In early 1972, Wagner reconnected with Natalie Wood and remarried her on July 16, 1972 after a six-month courtship. Their only child together, Courtney Wagner, was born on March 9, 1974. On November 29, 1981, Natalie would drown near their yacht Splendor while it was moored near Catalina Island. Also on board were Wagner, Christopher Walken, who was co-starring with her in the motion picture Brainstorm, and Dennis Deverne, a captain. Wagner subsequently became the legal guardian of Wood's daughter Natasha Gregson, then eleven. He is estranged from his former sister-in-law, Lana Wood. In early 1982, Wagner began dating actress Jill St. John. After eight years together, they married on May 26, 1990. In spring 2000, a Vanity Fair cover shoot featuring all past actresses playing Bond girls in every James Bond film was broken up after an encounter between Lana Wood and St. John. 
St. John reportedly refused to participate if Lana Wood was involved with the Vanity Fair piece, and it was St. John, reportedly, who caused the problem at the shoot. On September 21, 2006, he became a first-time grandfather when Katie Wagner, his daughter with Marion Marshall, gave birth to her son Riley John Wagner Lewis. In November 2011, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department reopened its investigation into Natalie Wood's death after the captain of the boat, Dennis Deverne, told NBC News that he lied to police during the initial investigation and that a fight between Wood and Wagner had led to her drowning. After nine months of further investigation, Los Angeles County Chief Medical Examiner Drive Lakshman and Sathya Vajasaran amended Wood's death certificate and changed the cause of her death from accidental drowning to drowning and other undetermined factors. The amended document also states that the circumstances of how Wood ended up in the water are not clearly established. The police however have stated that Wagner is not a suspect in the case. Filmography, Film Selected Television Appearances, 1953, Jukebox Jury as Himself, 1963, The Eleventh Hour, Episode, and God Created Vanity as Kenny Walsh, 1968 Euro 1970, It Takes a Thief as Alexander Mundy, 1970 Euro 1971, The Name of the Game as David Corey, 1971, City Beneath the Sea as Brett Matthews, 1972 Euro 1974, Colditz as Flight Lieutenant Phil Carrington, 1975 a Euro 1978, Switch as Pete T. Ryan, 1979 a Euro 1984. Heart to Heart as Jonathan Hart, 1980, The Jacques Cousteau Odyssey Narrator, 1981, The Fall Guy as Himself, 1988, Windmills of the Gods as Mike Slade, 1994, Parallel Lives as the Sheriff, 1997, Seinfeld, Episode. The Yada Yada as Mr. Abbott, 1999, Fatal Error, as Albert Teal, 2003, Hope and Faith as Jack Fairfield, 2005, The Simpsons, Episode, Goo Goo Guy Pan as himself, 2006, Las Vegas, Episode, Cash Springs Eternal as Alex Avery, 2006, Boston Legal as Barry Gold, 2007, Two and a Half Men as Teddy Leopold, 2010-2014, NCIS as Anthony D. Notes OSR, 2012, The League as Gumba Duke, 2013, Futurama as himself, Books, Wagner, Robert. Pieces of My Heart, A Life. New York, HarperCollins. ISBN A 978-0-06-137331-2 to a references. External links, official website, Robert Wagner at the Internet Movie Database, Robert Wagner on Yahoo. Movies, works by or about Robert Wagner in libraries, articles about Robert Wagner, a Malibu resident, can be found at the Malibu Times.